All right, well, Marty's at a perfect place this morning to celebrate what else? National Beer Day. Yes, Marty, I've done this tour at Heavy Seas. It's very cool. Well, as a matter of fact, I was going to bring that up at the end, Lynn and, and Sean. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I was going to bring up the fact that now, post COVID, you guys are doing tours again. Christopher Leonard, the brewmaster and operations manager, we're in the actual brew house. Tell them about the tours and how they can find out more info. So you can go to hsbeer.com. That's our website. We have tours every Saturday. Starting right. at noon. It, it's starting at noon. Yeah. Didn't mean to interrupt you there. Well, I write a blog every day. If you go to wjz.com and you see these interviews and I write about them, I will link to that website. You can find out more information. It's actually fascinating how you make a, a beer. Yeah, well, one of one of our beers. Well, check this out. You, so you're looking behind us. And I, I walked in and I said to Christopher, I said, those are bourbon barrels. What the heck? Yeah, so so we've got 142 bourbon barrels here, fresh dumped, one single-use bourbon barrels filled with pumpkin ale. So our greater pumpkin, which recently won the U.S. Beer Tasting Champions brand champion pumpkin beer in the United States. We'll release that beer, uh, start shipping that sometime in July after it sits in these bourbon barrels for 150 days. That's wild. Who came up with that? Oh, boy, that's a collaborative thing. Everything we do here is kind of a collaborative effort. We've been making this beer for about 10 years now. Originally, we didn't do a barrel version. It was called the Great Pumpkin. And then somebody had this wonderful idea of putting in a bourbon barrel, and it was the Greater Pumpkin. That is pretty cool. Your awards are hanging everywhere. Oh, speaking of awards, you should get an award for this stuff. Tell them what you're doing for the Ukraine. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, brewers, we like to collaborate. We, we like to talk, uh, help each other out. Uh, there's a brewery in, in Ukraine, in Lviv, Ukraine, called Pravda Brewery. Asked for some help, so they put some of their beer recipes out uh, for the world to brew and hopefully use that uh, as a way to help them raise money. So we brewed a batch of their Red Eyes beer. We released in our tap room last Friday. There's still some beer left. Every, every pint we sell, every drop of that beer that we, we sell, those proceeds are going to go help this brewery and the folks in Ukraine. That's crazy. So they realize people around the world were doing fundraising yeah. efforts like, here's our recipe, make our beer, sell our beer. Yeah. That's wild. I believe there are over 100 breweries uh, in the United States and other parts of the world that have taken and brewed one of their beers and raised money uh, for the folks. Tell them about the t-shirt you made that sold out. Yeah, so, so we, we got, we got t-shirts for this event. I just uh, want to say this is a little reads, bit, little bit edgy. Putin drinks light beer and uh, it, it, those those were hard to hold on to. They, they, they went real fast. We want to thank Heavy Seas for the hospitality of hosting us this morning. Check out all the local beers. They're very good ones. You've got great ales. You've got great lagers. You've got You've just got a tremendous variety made right here in Baltimore and all the surrounding counties. Just real quick, how many, do we know how many breweries there are in the area? Uh, it's, I can't keep track anymore. You know, uh, upwards of 50 at this point, I upwards believe. Of yeah. 50. Yeah. We got to leave with lyrics from another country song. A guy named Billy Currington wrote a song about uh, an older man imparting wisdom on him. And there were three things that he told Billy Currington. God is great, beer is good, and people are crazy. We'll throw it back to you. All See, I right. like that quote. That, that one's true. That one makes sense, Marty. Thank you so much. And I love what he said. If you want to make something greater, just let it age in bourbon barrels. For do it for anything. Just let it sit there. I do love a pumpkin beer. All right.